Uh, we take great pleasure in welcoming new member of the Cleveland Browns. He's got a Super Bowl ring. We're talking about Paul Kruger, who signed yesterday with our team. Paul, congratulations. Welcome. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I'm, I'm excited to be here. Appreciate you having me on. And appreciate you signing with us. What was the determining factor? You know, there was there was a lot, a lot of different things, you know. But you know, I would say the main thing is just being able to to be a part of uh, you know a new team who's who's up and coming, um, and being able to to you know be a part of building something special. You know, uh, you came on so strong last year. Take us through that because uh, what a storybook season it was. It didn't appear like you guys would get on that run in the first half of the season. I know, I know. We we dealt with a lot. It was it was honestly, you know, it was uh, it was either meant to be or or the football gods just they just blessed us, man. I mean, we had injury upon injury at the beginning of the season. Uh, we weren't playing good collectively, and then you know, just slowly over time, um, things just fell into place. Uh, guys got healthy at the right times. Um, the offense started to click at the right time. I mean, it all just it all just came together. You know, the other thing that was fascinating is uh, the, the, the closeness of the games in the postseason, Paul. Yeah, absolutely. Every, every game was. Uh, I think every game was was won within you know a touchdown or two. I mean, it was it was. Um, Man, it was a long road, and and as soon as we got there, we played that game in Denver, um, and you know the way our offense came back and scored, and you know, with that dramatic uh, ending, I mean it was just one of those things. I knew I knew we were headed to the Super Bowl after we won that game, just because of of the way that of the way that we had won and the and the things our team had overcome. It was just, you know, just a one-of-a-kind thing to be a part of. You know, it's amazing. You talk about getting that bye, but you guys had to win the extra game. And, you know, the Giants did it a couple of years ago. The Packers did it when they won the Super Bowl. Uh, it, that extra adrenaline kicks in for you guys on that, even after a long, grueling season, doesn't it? It does. It always does. And, you know, when you when you understand what you're playing for, and you have a, a team who's kind of united in the in the cause, you know it, it makes it pretty exciting. And you know, really, there's there's you know not much else that's driving you. You know, when you get that far with your teammates, and you see what you've produced together, and you've and you fought through the off season and the preseason, and and you know the 16 weeks. I mean, it's just something where you just don't want to go home. Uh, were you nervous when you got out on the field for the first time in the Super Bowl? Uh, a little bit. There were some nerves for sure. I mean, it was something I'm, I was excited about and I was I was ready for. Um, it was it was uh, man. The environment was just uh, was just perfect. I mean, to be able to to go down there and play in the dome um, and to you know have the type of media that was there and. Just it was just a all around tremendous experience. Did you enjoy media day leading up to the game, or did you say uh, to some of your teammates, "Enough is enough, man"? <laughs> media day was crazy. <laughs> I mean, there was thousands of reporters there, and it was it was something that was really really cool to be a part of. So, I would say that uh, you know you always you always get a little bit tired of of all those things, but at the same time. Man, you gotta live it up because it, it it doesn't come around very often. How late did you guys party into the night? <laughs> I don't think I went to sleep. <laughs> I don't blame you. You know, we when we knew the Browns were targeting you, we've looked at all of your credentials and your statistics and everything. But I I, I must confess, uh, um, because there's so many guys that we have to try to uh, keep track of that the Browns might be considering. Tell us about your personal life, family. Um, I'm 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 one of six kids. Uh, I got two parents. Um, uh, I got two brothers that are entering the NFL draft this year. Um, I got I got two sisters, and uh, one of my sisters is married to a second year player from the Raven from the Raiders. Um, and uh, so it's a football family. We got a we got a lot going on. We're a very close group. Um, from we're all from Utah. 
and I uh, went to school there. Um, all my brothers went to school there. Um, so it's an exciting, it's an exciting group of people. We're all big, and we're all big, and <laughs> like to have fun. You're not married. Nope, not married. Uh, what was it like playing for Urban Meyer? It was it was a great experience. He is the, he is a remarkable coach. I gotta say he's he's just you know the way his mind works and, and the organization and the fire and the excitement that he brings to a team is is uh, man I don't think it I don't think it's in too many places. Um, I would put him at the, at the top of the list for guys I've played for. Um, you know he's just a he's just a guy who I have a ton of respect for the way he does things. Has he called you? Sifter, of course, there's not much time between yesterday's announcement, but have you stayed in contact with him all these years? Um, you know, we're we're friendly, you know, but we we don't talk on a regular basis now. But he, you know, he's he's so he's so busy, you know. It's just it's hard to it's hard to get a hold of a guy who's 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 uh, busy winning championship after championship. Well, he's only two hours away from you now. Well, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard. I might have to go pay him a visit. Well, we are delighted that you are a member of our team and uh, obviously as active as the Browns are. Besides you, I mean, hey, getting Groves on the other side of the line and picking up Bryant. And uh, we're speculating here on the show, Paul, that uh, the Browns have only just begun. Yep, I, I think so, man. I'm, I'm really excited about it. And um, like I said, there's definitely good things to come to, to come this way. Have you met Ray Horton prior to the signing? Uh, no, no, I hadn't. Um, but uh, I met him this morning, and it just seems like, you know, just seems like an awesome guy. I'm really, really pumped up to play for him. We're pumped up to have you on our team. Paul, thank you very much, and congratulations. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, Paul Kruger, the new outside linebacker of the Cleveland Browns, pass rusher, Super Bowl champion. Now he's on our team.